Seems as though starting gate attendance doing some adjustments to the gear. of Mucho Gusto. The rider standing behind gate one, waiting on Mucho Gusto to enter. But the rest of them all in. And now Mucho Gusto begins to give problems to load. So if you haven't placed your wagers, Thanks to Mucho Gusto, you still have precious seconds left. Still no sign of Mucho Gusto in gate one. We have a clear track. So is Mucho Gusto a late down starter? Yes, he is. Mucho Gusto not with the field, a late scratch. So Caparty took off in a little bumping match. Boldy Formal is over to that side along with River Sticks in behind them. Palace School a step more toward the far side in the early exchanges. San Antonio showing some speed. A legal lady is more toward the middle. Antioch right up there with the front end. Cipuedo off them but racing near the stand side as they now run away toward the final quarter. Antioch showing speed. So too a legal lady. San Antonio right there as they now begin to compact a bit. Palace Gold is also showing good dash as they run away now toward the final furlong. And over on the far side, it looks to be a Palace Gold who has that lead. Palace Gold with the advantage. Emperor Hall now asked to come forward, but it's Palace Gold being driven right out with the advantage as they drive up toward us. Palace Gold and Wesley Henry has another win in the card. Emperor Hall is second. Tight. Jalen Diabolical Kid have gone by. Over on the far side, that's Prince Theo. Also in that mix-up, San Antonio. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of today's 10th, number 6, Palace Gold. The three-year-old chestnut filly is by traditional Arai by home builder, Red Playons Row, on WB Racing, train Howard Jagai, the second winner on the card for jockey Wesley Henry. Second eight, Emperor Hall, third nine, Diabolical Kid, fourth seven, Jalen, fifth ten, San Antonio, sixth five, Prince Theo. Running time, 1,000 meters straight, 58 and 4 fifths.